What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. We're back today with some setup tips and hacks to improve your setup. Whether it's a just a general desk setup, your work setup, gaming setup, anything like that. Talking organization, aesthetics, cable management, all that good stuff. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out for your setup. And starting us off is this thing. This is a cable spine. You may have seen these before. And yes, they're meant to resemble vertebrae in a spine with the way it moves. And it does so for a very specific reason. Each vertebrae or block is what we'll call them moving forward is two and a half inches wide and can total 48 inches in length for this. But each block can also be removed if you want to make this smaller overall. There's also four separate channels inside each block. I'd say you can probably fit about 20 cables total inside this depending on the thickness of your cables, that is. But you just snap them into the little cutouts to keep them in place, route it down the length of the spine, and now your cables will be neatly organized. Now, the reason it's designed like this with a very particular construction is for sit-stand desks. The spine flexes and moves to the height you adjust your desk to, all while keeping your cables organized and from pulling or tugging. The base is also weighted, so it won't move off the floor either, giving you much better cable management with all your cables in one place, and you won't have to worry about them you know, getting caught up when you adjust the height of your desk. You can also use this with a standard desk, but I'd say it's just kind of pointless. So you can pick this up in either black or a white color option. Black if you want to sort of blend it into the legs of your desk, or white if you want it to be sort of like flush if you have a white wall. And it's just around $30. But for one of my favorite cable management tricks are these reusable silicone and magnetic cable ties. These have so many uses and I've actually bought two packs of these and they come in packs of 20 because they're just really, really versatile. I've used them for a while and they found their way all throughout my studio and setup. So first, taking a look at them, the loop cable tie is just over seven inches in total length with a magnet on each side. So you figure around three and a half inches when closed and the magnet lets you do things like take it apart and wrap it around cables numerous times then snap the magnets back together so it all locks it nice and neatly into place. But where these have made their way to the majority of my setup is with hiding cables and keeping them behind my desk and out of sight. With the magnets, I could snap them around a bunch of cables to keep them together in one loop and then attach the cable to a desk leg, for example, so it'll stay in place and then be behind the leg so it's not visible. So whether it's for organizing cables in a drawer, a camera bag, your PC cables behind your desk, these are clutch and they're only like $15. And hey, you could even daisy chain these together if you need like a longer one. Why not? Now this next one's interesting, so you're gonna have to hear me out, but I know a lot of you guys, especially if you're familiar with me and my channel, you're like me in the sense that you have a lot of peripherals, both with different sets of mice and keyboards, and that's where this acrylic organizing storage rack comes in play. This three tier display stand lets you keep your peripherals at an arm's reach, all without cluttering your desktop as it's just taking up vertical space. So say you swap between different keyboards for different uses, but you don't want them just lying around your desk or scattered throughout your room, and you gotta look for it when you need to use it, this will do the trick. With it being acrylic, it also looks cleaner in the sense where your peripherals are almost just like floating. And say you wanna add a fourth peripheral up top, you can, but I'd keep the top two lighter accessories personally. Now about those gaming mice, on the back side is a tray with four grooves. This is meant for additional storage, fits things like controllers, remotes, and up to four gaming mice, as those grooves in the cutouts help keep the hump of the back of the mouse in place, since they're gonna be stored vertically here. I'm sure a lot of you have multiple gaming mice as well, so I like the fact that this fits it just for that instance. I personally really dig it. It's a simple idea, and again, with the nature of my work, I have a lot of peripherals I swap between. And I have it decked out with other accessories like macro pads or remotes up top, but can also be great for flash drives or smaller accessories. It comes in just around $25. It comes with this clear option that I have, as well as a black acrylic color. And if you're not a fan of that, that's okay. There's something else that I showed off in an episode of Cool Tech Under 50 last year. That's this Wally pegboard for desktop organization. This metal 12 by 12 pegboard is modular and comes with eight additional pieces you can use with it to your liking and needs. Things like a shelf attachment, cable organizers, two hook hangers, two storage pockets, letting you get the most out of your space and just giving you flexibility when it comes to setting this up with different configurations. And that's the fun part. The hangers are great for holding controllers, headphones, any peripheral really. 
Use the shelf or pockets for pens, pencils, flash drives, really whatever you have lying on your desk adding to the clutter can now be easily organized with the Wally. It's also capable of being wall mounted as well if you don't want this physically on your desk. It's all up to you. But the quality is what really sold me on this. The metal board isn't flimsy, it's well made, the base is solid so it won't slide it on your desk, and it's just under 20 bucks which is a steal. Now I checked Amazon, it hasn't been in stock in a while so I'll drop an alternative one which looks pretty much identical in the description down below. Another way to keep the desktop clean is with less things on it. So ditch a traditional desktop lamp and pick up a monitor light bar. I just showed this off in an episode of Cool Tech Under 50 on the channel, and these have exploded in popularity over the last few years. And this one in particular is pretty cool because as you can see, it has a wireless control dial as well as RGB lighting up top to complement the light underneath shining down. So you can illuminate your wall with some color and then brighten your desktop at the same time. So you can illuminate your wall with some color and brighten your desktop at the same time. So underneath for the main light, it's adjustable to dial not only for brightness, but color temperature as well. And then up top, you can pick between static colors, the RGB wave, or have it pulsing along to the audio going on in your room. The light bar also has a slight curve to it. So if you have a curved monitor, it'll just aesthetically sort of fit in nicely. But if not, obviously not a big deal. It's still compatible. I just think it's a really cool alternative instead of adding RGB lights behind your monitor or having a physical lamp on your desk. Now, whenever you want to adjust your light at an arm's reach, you have the wireless control dial. Again, adjust the brightness, the color temperature, your RGB lights, all without physically touching the light bar itself. This particular light bar is usually around 80 to 90 bucks on Amazon, which yeah, is kind of expensive for what it is, but they also have a basic one that I'll put down below that I also have. So you can pick between either the RGB model or just the regular light bar. Now let's talk some ergonomics. So Cherry makes this thing called a slide pad. It's an armrest, not a wrist rest. This is actually made for your forearms, more specifically like in the workplace, I'd say, or for an office setup when it comes to typing for a long period of time. As you can see, it's decently sized. On the large end, I'd say, the top is soft and curved to prevent any pressure points on your arms during use. So if you don't have or use a traditional wrist rest with your keyboard already, this could be an option. This is sold as a one pack, so you can buy two if you want one for each arm, but they can also be used interchangeably for both hands. You know, it's not like it's just for your left or right hand. And I'll be honest, at first I was kind of like, eh, but it does comfortably elevate your forearms overall. So for me, I was now more in line with my keyboard and at my typing angle, it was actually pretty comfortable at this naturally elevated cushion 90 degree bend of the elbow. There was no straining or cramping over long periods of time with typing. And I now didn't have any contact with the edge of my desk or my mouse pad, which can be irritating on your forearms. The bottom of the slide pad is PTFE feet, so you don't have to worry about it scratching your desktop surface. It's the same Teflon feet that you can find on gaming mice, so it'll still slide around with you and move with your forearm movements. For typing or coding, yes. But for gaming, I'd suggest just use the one for your keyboard arm because the increased elevation just wasn't the best for quick mouse movements in game. And I felt that for a gaming mouse, it was actually sort of increasing the strain in my hand since I was relying more on these dramatic wrist movements with my forearm kept snugly in place. However, for gaming, I would recommend the Delta Hub Carpio G 2.0, which is literally designed for gaming and to be used with your mouse. And yes, shamelessly, I'm also pumped to show off our Midnight Camo collaboration that I have with them. But fans of the channel will know by now, this isn't just like a one-off thing. I'm not shilling for them. I've genuinely used and showed off previous iterations of this, dating back to 2020 originally. This collab release is just a new specialized colorway you can pick up if you want to match it to your setup or style. The G2.0 has an adjustable magnetic band, so it stays on your wrist during use, and underneath it's coated in a slick Teflon. So again, it'll move with you on your mouse pad and not cause any drag or resistance to your mouse movements or aiming. Each model is gonna have its own unique midnight pattern. That's just the way you know they're cast, but I love the color mix in with the stark black. Now I'll say the same thing I said previously. At first, using this is definitely gonna be possibly daunting because anytime you sort of add something new to your usual gameplay routine, it could potentially you know, interfere with what you're used to when it comes to muscle memory and stuff like that. So I'll say it's gonna take some time to adjust to. However, after like two days of actually using it, it just started to feel natural and you won't even really notice it. But I do understand this won't be something for everybody. But I'm telling you, if you just take the time to use it and adjust to it, your wrist will thank you. This also goes without saying, obviously you can just use this for whatever, not just gaming. All in all, I'm really digging it. Pumped to have our Midnight Camo collab out to the market for you guys. And they do have different sizes, small or large. You also have models for lefties and righties and retail for $60. 
Then real quick, not the most interesting, but how about some cleaning tips? Be honest, how many times have you cleaned or wiped down your mouse since you've been using it? With the amount of times you touched your mouse and touched other things and then touched your mouse, you know, over a while, your mouse is gonna get dirty. A pack of Clorox wipes is like three to $5. Wipe your mouse down, like once a month. Wipe your wrist rest, your keyboard, things that you're always touching that you're not thinking about that you probably haven't cleaned. It's like your phone screen. Then another little cleaning tip are these Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. So again, when it comes to your setup and you want to keep things visually clean as well, right? Say you have scuffs on your wall, just from things over time, scuffs on your desk. These little magic erasers are just that, magic. You know, over time I've gotten scuffs on my wall from who knows what. With the amount of things that I'm always mounting and moving around and changing out, it happens. So this just wipes all that off. You don't have to repaint or touch up your wall. Same thing goes for your desk. If you got some marker on it, this takes it all off. Another cheap pickup as well. They have like a pack of like two, four or six. This one was like five bucks. Now this next one is gonna be a hack, mostly for streamers, but content creators as well. And it might sound dumb at first, but trust me. This is neon green masking tape. Yes, when it comes to your setup, there's no such thing as thinking too far outside the box. This neon green masking tape can be used to key out as a green screen when you wanna get creative with what you decide to mask and key out. So for example, when I'm sitting at my desktop and at my setup for a stream, I'm in front of a green screen and I'll have my shotgun mic usually right in front of my face so it picks up my vocals the best. That's how they're designed with this pickup pattern. However, it's always in the frame of the shot and would look dumb and annoying to look at during a stream. Enter the masking tape. Whether you're applying the chroma key effect in OBS real time or afterwards in your editing software during your editing and post-production work, whatever you want to disappear in your shot, you just add this green tape to and key it out and it'll now become invisible to the stream. And you can see it's still there too. I didn't just fake it for this shot. This is not visible anymore because with the green screen tape on it, it's now fully keyed out. This lets me have a cleaner layout on screen and I don't have to worry about the microphone being too far away from me, you know, to keep it out of the frame. It's still right there. And since the tape is on the outside of the literal side of the microphone, the diaphragm inside isn't affected. So I don't have to worry about it worsening my sound quality. You can also get real dumb with it like I did here to show you guys with a desktop mic. I just taped up the, uh, the shock mount and the pop filter on the right side. So again, the actual microphone quality won't be compromised, but the green tape will allow me to hide anything I apply it to with just a little chroma key action. It's like 10 bucks for a roll. You can get it in different widths and sizes, but a nice little hack for sure. So what do you guys think? What are your favorite hacks and tips I showed off today? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget everything I showed off. If you want to pick it out, we also be listed for you in the description. And guys, that'll wrap it up for my video on setup tips and hacks. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did and it helped you out, give this video a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.